very pleased with that. First swarm. Kind of overwhelming. We can open a new tool that we want. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the greenhouse and the tomatoes are thriving, I could say. As you can see, they are very happy. It's kind of hard to show a difference in scale, but they've pretty much doubled and they're starting to get some suckers. So it's time to start pruning. All right, you might remember that a while back I planted sunflower seeds in the perennial garden. None of them have come up for some reason, I'm not sure why. So now the plan is to start them in a tray. These giant tree seed trays. Um, and I know that's not ideal, but I have the feeling that some kind of mouse or a bird is eating the seeds because I've tried many times and they never come up, so now we need to try something else. Filming on my phone, so excuse the quality, but I think bees have moved into there, or we think because it's uh, very, very busy. So oh, I wanted to have a look and then I saw that in the middle one there there's a lizard just, just chilling uh, not bothered by the bees at all just hanging out thought that was funny um, so this afternoon we're gonna see if the bees have really moved into that one all right, I think we have a first swarm and I also want to check the rest of the hives that we have here um, and uh, see what's going on. Apparently there's a lizard on it. Oh yeah, and I made some new frames to add if we caught a hive. Um, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I can already see everyone. <laughs> So we've missed the move in, yeah. but they're definitely moved in. <laughs> I can see them from here. Girls, look. Then you get some welcoming home, welcome home gifts, new frames. Because I knew this one wasn't filled up all the way. Yeah. So most of the boxes that we're using this year to catch, they have a couple frames so that the bees that know that they have a nice home there. And then once they move in, we add more to help them. Yeah. I'll give them some food to give them a head start. You don't have to do that, but yeah. Um, it helps like them. Because I'm nice. <laughs> Now I'll check the other ones, but they are, uh, especially this first one, is not not always that in use. So I'll do that the last and first check the the furthest one. Yeah, we had some rain, so there's water in here. 
which is something you really love. In this box there is a colony that we caught last year as a swarm and there are most opinionated ladies very uh, defensive but that's also why they got through the winter very well and they've started to move into the top Um, but that's also why I'm not moving closer because they're very mean. Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> it's the next day. As I was saying, we're gonna plant some sunflowers. So I got these just from little they are giant sunflowers so i hope they work this time oh am i stuck Okay, we're in the garden and as you can see Martin has trimmed everything very nicely so it's not <laughs> this tall anymore all the grass um, but it's kind of overwhelming to um, think where we need to start because we just really let it go over the winter and um, there's lots and lots to do so we need to start uh, ripping things out and uh, prepping the beds I left lots of things in the garden growing as well because um, they were some of the first flowers and i saw that there were lots of bees so for example this uh, these are the turnips they started bolting when it was too dry and too warm and there are some uh, giant porridge plants as well so i let those be f because the bees we're loving them, uh, but now they have the hawthorn and all the other flowers, so it's not necessary anymore. So we'll have to start ripping things out. And as I was looking at the, some cabbages, I saw that this one's looking really nice, so I think we'll s still eat that one. But this one has been invested by this strange looking caterpillar and I see lots of eggs and things I'm just gonna rip the whole thing out give it to the chickens before they start nibbling on my other cabbages Thomas I don't know where they are The 
I like being underneath the brambles here. So, as I said, I'm fairly overwhelmed. <laughs> Lots of little jobs to do. Um, it just looks very overgrown, but I, we had the same last year. And we just pushed through for a couple days and then it was really good for the rest of the summer. So I think we just need to start. And then this afternoon we can open a new tool that we bought. It's really going to help with this. All right, uh, because everybody uh, watched the video of me cleaning the land, we have have some room in our budget budget to s uh, to splurge on something that I like or want. And um, this is an ant, <laughs> uh, but also uh, an electric cultivator or tiller. Um, we have power in the garden because we have a, uh, a well pump there uh, so I thought let's use something that we can run off solar and apparently this one is strong enough and uh, cheap enough uh, but strong enough to handle the, the, uh, the beds in the garden and it's just the right size to uh, to leave the channels in place but uh, till the stuff around it and it helps my back because I don't have to do it by hand and uh, we don't use the no dig method so uh, come at me uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, we want fight to fight me in the comments yeah fight me in the comments <laughs> but we do like to till uh, our uh, our beds and um, this should make it easier first step is getting it out of the box and uh, putting it together Let's fight this ant first. Ooh, you're so big. Get off. Ooh. Pick your staff of four.
Toy. I like my new toy. It's a good toy. This is the first test of this uh, beautiful tiller um, and uh, I'm convinced that this is really a great thing to have in the garden. Uh, last year this took us about a week uh, of here working here and there and you couldn't work all the time because you got tired uh, because it's back breaking work. Uh, this is much better. Uh, our soil needs to be aerated once in a uh, once in once a year for now um, and this does a great job at it and uh, yeah and it's great that we can just use the solar system for uh, for power uh, powering this thing I'm convinced yay not sponsored <laughs> although if you want to send us one <laughs> no, no. 
yeah, th there are other brands uh, with wheels on the back and, and everything, uh, but this one uh, was only uh, 115 euros, so uh, yeah, money well spent. Yes. Okay. <laughs>